All right, budget construction trailer build here. We have a six by 10 by five foot six high and Outback Pace American here. Bought it used off an old fellow. It hasn't been uh, towed down the highway very much, but it's been sitting and he's been using it for storage for the last probably six years. Got a little side door here. And so here's what we're doing. First step is, this is just like door skin on the side here. And I'm gonna be making custom shelves. And I think, uh, you know, if this thing's being towed down the road every day, that's just gonna fail. So we're gonna put half inch plywood all around it. The floor here is actually like, looks like standard five eighths plywood. Yeah, that's five eighths. And then it's just screwed into each cross member, but it hasn't been coated or anything under here. So I'm gonna have to protect that because as you can see, it's just cupping in between each support. So I think I'm gonna put an additional layer of half inch uh, going the other way to, uh, hopefully prolong this baby's life. And then exposing the, uh, the steel frame of the uh, trailer. All right guys, new floor is in. Half inch ply. Some funky little notching. I routed this edge because you're gonna be kicking it all the time. Uh, pretty much perfect use of two sheets on this six by 10. Uh, screw down with treated screws. Took about an hour, probably an hour. First sheets up, worked really well. About three per stud using these uh, inch and a half wafer metal screws. All right, so we're pretty much done the uh, six by 10 trailer build here. Just putting some of the tools in there. Um, haven't got it fully filled in, but we can see where everything goes now. Okay, so there's the table saw stand, spot for it. And then this void here, I'm probably gonna mount battery chargers too and framing squares and whatever else. Um, that's uh, some E-Track that I got from Princess Auto, but. 2,000 pounds. So yeah, we should be good. And then you can get all sorts of different attachments. I just got five of these uh, little hooks. So you can put them anywhere. I'll uh, actually like to keep them out of the way of opening up the lid for the lockbox. And then I held the lockbox out so the lid can open and that created a space for the, uh, the collapsible table back there. Lifted the uh, lockbox up six inches so that we can put our sledgehammers and pry bars and stuff under there. Shovel will probably make it in here, brooms. Yeah, this is the shelving I came up with. Uh, should work out pretty good. Um, pretty standard levels up there. And whatever other long things. Um, I notched this out just so you could grab that and pull it up. Or else it would be a bit tight. Hammer drill. We got the desk here in the back for paperwork. And it's nice just to have a flat surface to, you know, work on tools, get out drill bits, whatever else. Flat spaces are super handy. And yeah, I also wanted room for the, the miter saw stand. Cause again, they're big and they just seem to get in the way all the time, unless you have a dedicated spot for them. So yeah, we just got this strap wall there. I don't think that's going to go anywhere down the road. It's just going to sit up there. This little cubby is uh, where I put all my fasteners because they just get everywhere and it's a small trailer. So this should keep them organized. 
Just get all the fasteners there. There's two uh, harnesses up there. Goes uh, all the way to the front. So that's pretty sweet. And then if someone decides to break in through this entrance, they'll probably just get discouraged and most likely enter through the back. All right, here's hopefully the last mod to this uh, used trailer. Um, I put the swing away jack on there because I hooked the truck up to this and I couldn't get the tailgate down because that thing sticks up in the way and not being able to get in the back there is not really an option. So I need to just remove it a little, take pressure off, swing it out of the way and you're off to the bank hopefully.